hi what's going on and welcome once again back to the channel so in this video we are going to look at uh, a bit deeper into arrays we already looked at the introduction to arrays in the previous video so you if you haven't watched that yet i suggest you go back and watch that before coming or anyhow you want to do it so in the previous video we we, we looked at arrays and we said that arrays are a collection of objects uh with the same data types in a sequential memory locations okay so uh, we looked at how to de define an array, how to declare, and how to initialize arrays. So in this video, we are going to go a bit uh, deeper, um, not really, but a bit deeper into arrays. Arrays, as a bro uh, broad topic, is very huge, and um, I think you will be you will get to know much of it as we go along. Okay. So um, the first thing I want to talk about today um, is we can re re reassign a value to an already. Uh, an already assigned ele uh, element in our array. So maybe we already have. Let's do array upgrade. Do this initialization. I'll say twelve. Just forgive my values. Thirty-two, forty-four, forty-two, twenty-one. Okay, so let's let's take this for instance. So we have this number one, two, three, four, five. We have five um, sides of the arrays, and then we learn that we can we can uh, state the size over here, or we can choose to ignore any other way. So we have we will be able to compile. So uh, let's say, for instance, we want to change the value of say um, the fifty-four here to let's say seventy-one. So what we can do is we can target that one. So we will do uh, the grid. And then within the array square brackets, we are going to type the index of it. So the index of it is 0, 1, 2. So it's 2. I'm going to type 2. And I'll assign it a different value of 7 to 1. All right. So I'm just going to see how this. Uh, let me do gray. And then the array 2. Let's go ahead, build this, and run. All right. And you are going to see we have 7 to 1 over here. Although we are actually had 54 in the array elements but since we assign it a different value that is going to override the one which is already in the uh, array elements so we can actually do it for any uh, element of the array okay and then the next thing that we, i would like us to look at is uh, we actually have a couple number of arrays types of arrays uh, we have the 1d and the multi-dimensional arrays and then within the multi-dimensional arrays, you have two-dimensional, three-dimensional. The name actually depicts it. So uh, uh, looking at the number of dimensions the array has defines the name of it. So we are actually going to look at the 2D, two-dimensional array, probably known as the matrix array. So um, let me get rid of all of these. And now we do an int, uh, let's see, matrix. Matrix, and then is it with the one dimensional array or the previous one? We only had one uh, array bracket, that's a square bracket, and then with the 2D, we're actually going to have two of them, okay? So, like this, and then the first one is actually going to be for the row of the array, and then the second one is going to be for the column of the array. And with initialization of uh, the 2D matrix, we can choose to ignore initializing the row, but we can never choose to ignore initializing the column. Because for the rule from the previous video or the, from the previous examples, we could see that even if we don't initialize uh, the rule, depending on the number of uh, elements you are going to put in the array, that the, the compiler itself is going to know the size of it. But for the column, the compiler would never know. So when you come off uh, initializing a 2D, so let me do this for example. Uh, let's see. Two, four, six. And then you have another one, say one, three, five. I'm going to have three rows, three columns. Okay, so this also we need another one. More. And I'm going to do say five, six, and then eight. Okay, so we have this set of uh array elements and then mind you as i said um the first the first uh square bracket is for rows and the second one is for columns okay so you can see that we have this is row one 
Uh, this is row number two, this is row number three, all right? And then for the columns, we have one, two, three. So we are going to have three out of three. But I said earlier that we can choose to ignore uh, initializing the rows, but for the columns, we actually have to, uh, we actually have to state the size of it. So I'm going to put three over here. And then working with um, matrix arrays or two-dimensional, multi-dimensional arrays, we actually goes with the for loop. If you know nothing about the for loop, I will, uh, please go back and check in the videos and learn about for loops. Okay, so real quick, I am going to do four. And I'll say I'm, I'm going to use I for the rules. So I equals zero. And I'll do I. I less than three because it's uh, actually yeah because we have a, a maximum of three so i is less than three and i'll do i plus plus and then within this for loop i am going to create uh, another for loop this is what we call the nested if you have no idea about the nested loops you can check it back in the videos okay so i'm going to do another for loop that, that will be for the uh, columns so i'll do four and i'll give that one a variable of j so j equal to zero we have j two less than um three and i'll do j plus plus all right so from this for loop we're actually going to uh see out um uh, all the elements that we have inside the array so i'm going to do c out and then have our array name that's matrix and then for the rows i'm going to say i and then for the columns, I'm going to say J. And then we would like it in a table form. So I'll do a backstroke and then C. Okay. And then from the main for loop, I'm going to do another C out from there. And I'm going to say um, a backstroke and an N. So that you will have them on a different line or a different row. All right, so this is what we have. Let's go ahead and build this and run. Let's see what happens. <clears throat> okay, perfect. So this is what we came about. So you could see uh, for row one, we have two, four, six. We have row two, one, three, five, row five, uh, row three, we have five, six, eight. And then the columns two are very clear. So this is a bit about the 2D arrays. And I'm sure as time goes on, as we dive deeper into the program we are going to be using them more and then we will know to get more properties of them so this is what we have for today um see you in the next video bye bye